It is Tuesday, October 22nd. It is the beginning of a week of Midland Dow festivities, and we welcome you to Midland High for high school volleyball on MPS TV. It is uh, the beginning of a week of wild emotions as the Kimmicks and the Chargers do battle around, uh, around both schools here at Midland High. Chris Stevens, Jason Harper, and Chris, we're going to start things off with volleyball as the Dow High Chargers make the short trip to take on the Midland High Kimmicks. And this is a Dow High Charger team under second-year coach C.J. Blaha that is doing great things at Dow High. He's got a Charger team firing on all cylinders. He sure does. He's got a lot of talent, Jason. And... Uh, so far in the season, they're 23 and 8. They're unbeaten in the Saginaw Valley League. He's got uh, the combination of size and athleticism that gives teams problems. So uh, they are the team to beat tonight. Yeah, the Dow High Chargers are 7 and 0 in the Valley, and uh, they've only got five losses on the season. And they're coming off playing a very tough tournament called the uh, the Beast in the East Volleyball Tournament. Right. That features a lot of the, uh, the strongest teams in the state of Michigan. But this is a Dow High Charger team not just preparing for a Saginaw Valley title, they're preparing for a postseason run. Well, you know how good a team is or how good they think they will be is by their schedule. And for him to schedule a tournament like that, that means he thinks he's got a good team that can go deep into the tournament. They played against two ranked teams, Schoolcraft and Rochester Hill, Stony Creek. They lost to both, but that gives Coach Blaha a chance to see exactly how good his team is as it uh, starts heading toward the district tournament here. So it'll be interesting to see. That was just this past Saturday. They'll see what they learned from there, and uh, we'll soon find out. And yeah, the Midland High Kimmicks, on the other hand, Midland High coming off under uh, under head coach Tim Burrell, and this is a uh, Midland High team that is about 500 on this season, which is not where the Kimmicks want to be. But this is a, a, a group that Coach Burrell says has a lot of fun, right. and you know sometimes things go their way, sometimes things don't. But this is a, a Kimmick team that he's enjoyed coaching. Well, I guess the word that comes to my mind is gritty. They they play hard. And they don't have the, the size that Dow has, but they're going to give it everything they got tonight. It's electric environment here at the Kimmick Gym. Uh, capitalize on that motion early if I was middle and high. Right, there's a great crowd, a great student section from both schools. The Kimmick and the Chargers bring, bringing their A game here tonight for this volleyball matchup between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. And you know, Chris, in all of our years of doing high school athletics, you know, going back 20, 30 years of high school coverage, it doesn't matter what the record is <laughs> when you've got the Kimmicks and the Chargers. As we take a look now, the Kimmicks student section, they're fired up tonight. Yeah, they sure are. And wait till they pan over to the Dow section as well because they're pretty fired up too. Two nice student sections here, which is pretty encouraging to see. Even uh, Victor the Lion making an, an appearance here for Midland High. We are just about set to go with a volleyball matchup here tonight. There's the Dow High Chargers uh, student section. Uh, relatively quiet at the time being, <laughs> but that is definitely not going to last. They're going to be making some noise. They were making some noise during the JV matchup as well, so I expect the, uh, the Chargers students to be just as loud here tonight. Right now, let's go to a public address announcer, A.D. at Midland High. He does just about everything. Eric Albright with the introduction.
is that uh, they gave out candy to the student section. <laughs> they didn't pass any candy up here to the broadcast crew. We need to fix that and have them turn around. <laughs> Feed the media sign up here. Exactly. Yeah. Here we go. A huge crowd on hand here at Midland High as we welcome you to coverage of the Midland High Chemex from the Dow High Charger Saginaw Valley League Volleyball on MPF TV. Jason Harper alongside Chris Steven. And Chris, you know both of these teams are fired up. Let's take a look at some uh, keys to the game here tonight for the Dow High Chargers. They've got a great offense. They have an excellent offense, and I think, uh, as we talked about earlier, is playing in that tournament a week ago against elite competition and seeing them do, seeing how well they did there, I think that carries over to tonight. I really do. I mean, beyond the whole Midland Dow emotional thing, I think that's part of what's going to carry them to uh, to an efficient offense tonight. If the Dow High Chargers have time to set up and run their offense, it may be a very long night or quick night for, for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah. However, you mentioned emotions. Last year, emotions got the better of the Chargers in the Midland Dow matchup. Yeah, and you know, that's all in the past. Tonight's a new night. I think for Midland, key is to get off to a good start here. So we're gonna see uh, Laura Hershauer start things off here for Dow High. She's one of the six seniors on the Dow High Charger team. That's an awfully big front line to get those hits over. And the Kimmich scoring first as... Sanborn. A, yeah, Taylor Sanborn, she's a junior for the Midland High Chemics. She's one of the leaders on this Chemic team and she got to serve quickly for Midland High. So not only does she do well on the opening point, but she also goes back to serve. And it's a jump serve. Three pass to the Chargers. Alyssa, Kep Alyssa Kepner, the yeah. senior, she is one of the many chargers that are very dangerous on that front the line. Right side hitter there. They've got good size across the board. Couple of player, players over six foot tall. And the chargers will have Francesca Query to serve. And a nice strong hit from the right side of the line for the Midland High Kemet. Emma Reckaway. Very athletic family there. Her dad's the men's basketball coach at Northwood, and her sister plays at Northwood, too, I believe, on the volleyball team. Now, we talked about Dow High with six seniors, a senior-led team, only 10 players total on the Chargers. Midland only has four seniors. 
but they rely on those seniors for leadership and a serving mistake by the Midland High Kimmicks will even things up at two and will give Chargers the serve. Haley Tannis. Nice decision there by Gabriel Wilson. Then it goes for the hard hit and Stedgeff dumped it over right into the middle where nobody was. You know, so far we've been seeing teams try to spike it hard over the net and that was the first tip we've seen that keeps the defense honest. And the Kimmicks will get the serve back on another hit. That was, uh, I believe, Olivia DePere. No, no, that was... Uh, Edie, Edie Haas, number five. Yeah. And uh, Haas is the leader on this Midland High Kimmick team when it comes to getting those kills. Midland needs to get a little run going here on its serve. So far it's been back and forth on both teams. And that yeah. kill is gonna be out so the Kimmicks will gain the point. Haley Jaster's kill went beyond the line, called out. Jaster playing her first full year of volleyball, had to sit out last year with a injury, but she is back after that ACL tear. Second time that the kill attempt by Dow has been long and Edie Haas is gonna continue to serve for Midland High. Nice, hard, low serve by Edie. Oh, just beyond the line called out. 5-4 Midland here early, Jason. Yeah, we're Great start for the Kimmicks. Well, we're going back and forth, both of these teams, and this may be where that emotion of a midland Dow matchup comes into play. Yeah, for sure. I think Midland's riding that emotion right now. And a shock will serve almost an ace. A nice job by Midland High to dig that out. That one is going to go beyond the line, called out. Hard to see the line, it's the yellow line that we are looking for on your television screen, which is uh, maybe hard to see unless you've got that uh, 4K high def going. But the, <laughs> the yellow line is the line we're looking for volleyball. Oh. But that's the second time, Chris, we have seen uh, serving errors for yeah, Midland. Yeah, you can't do that if you're Midland. You got, you're the underdog in this match. You gotta capitalize on every serve opportunity. Kimmicks are up six to five here in the first game. <laughs> Sometimes you get the break of the uh, the home net, and that's exactly what happens if Edie Haas able to get that ball to Jeff bounce over. Kimmicks are going to bring Emma Reckaway back into the game to add a little bit of size. Chargers have a couple of 6-1 players. Midland, their tallest player comes in at 5-9. They're going to say that the uh, Kimmicks were in the net. Said number 12, Willis, Savannah Willis went into the net. Again, Midland clinging to that lead, 7-6 right now. Continue Jaster be, serving. Continue to be back and forth. We played at 25. <laughs> Perfectly placed ball. Reckaway. Reckaway. Had, uh, you, you mentioned it, very nicely placed, right where nobody was. And again, we're going back and forth, I think. Neither team has had more than uh, two or three serves in a row. No, this is uh, this is a perfect start for Midland High. <laughs> Tipped at the net? No. Uh, they call it down. down they, are, they are going to oh. with that. I thought it was. That, that will give Midland the point. It looked like Tannis did tip that ball, trying to block it for Dow. Nine to six, Midland. Oh, now you can't, uh, you can't give Haley Tannis uh, no. that kind of uh, open shot. She's going to bring it down hard. There's, that's where that size comes into play. She's 
six foot one inches tall. And Midland just doesn't have the height to match up with her on that front line. Serve returns to down. Laura Hershauer will serve. That was a nice job by Haas. Edie Haas. Haas playing well in this first set. And here's Sanborn with the jump serve. Let's see how hard she hits it and where she places it, Jason. There. From the uh, left-hand side, Alyssa Kepner able to get the serve back for the uh, for the Dow High Chargers. It's a good thing that they changed that rule, Chris, that you yeah. get a point on, on every yeah, uh, volley, was... because if not, we'd be stuck at like one nothing right now. <laughs> I'll tell you, Midland's defense has been excellent so far. And, and that will be and a charger point. One of the things I've noticed, Chris, the Libreros on both of these uh, both of these teams have been playing well. The defensive specialist uh, Jenna Summers and Gabby Schloop have been doing their job, both sides, yeah, Kimmick Van Charger. That position is about being athletic and tenacious. You don't want to have the ball hit the, hit the floor. So you are on the ground a lot, just as Sloop went right there. On cue, and the uh, the kill attempt ended up going long, but Sloop made us look good by uh, digging that up. She's a scrapper. She Well, you know, Jason, she's a shortstop on the uh, softball team. She's very athletic and very competitive. All tied up at 10. And the Kimmicks will uh, maintain, no, I, I think, it, it was a, a tip a at the net. Court. Well, that's what I thought, but it looks like it will be Midland's point. The official tonight, Jack Service up top, Jill Burrele is underneath. Keeping it alive. Great play by Schloop. That big front line, it's hard to spike over. That Tannis. Was a, that was a, a great volley by both of them, but Haley Tannis is having a pretty good uh, oh. first game. She is dominating at the net right now, and here she is serving. Excellent play alive. by Jaster. Jaster on the tip. Nice decision there for the uh, senior, Haley Jaster, who will be playing some uh, college volleyball in the future. Great decision. Yeah, and you know, Jason, her, her story is about being resilient, coming back off that knee injury. And as a senior here, she is uh, enjoying every moment of being on the volleyball team and being a star player. That had some juice on it, didn't it? And a hard hit indeed by Wilson. Odd Dow kept it alive after the nice block by Midland's Haas. Oh, how smart and, was that? And then the Kimmich capitalized. Haas is playing awesome tonight. That was a very intelligent tip by her, hitting the open spot in the floor. We are tied at 12. This is the opening match between the Kimmichs and the Chargers. <laughs> Give credit to Alyssa Kepner. She's able to get the kill. Back and forth we go, Chargers serve. Chargers serve and are uh, middling again. I mean, their defense has been outstanding.
so far early in this match. And that's well, going to be our... Uh, I think our, that might have been out, Jace, if she would have let that go. It might have been. I think that was our uh, our first ace of the uh, of the evening for the Dow High Chargers. Anna yeah. Schalk serving on the left-hand side of that back row. If you're middling, you don't want Dow to get on a roll here with their serve. Oh, Carpenter. And that one appeared as if it was going to go out as well, but it was hit by somebody on that back row. So this is what Midland wants, to be able to go yeah. back and forth. And they want Carpenter to play like that. She did a nice job on that smash there. That's over on the front line, Laura Hershauer able to tip it over for the Chargers. Savannah Wilson gave a nice effort trying to block that, but it deflected off her hand and to the floor. There's that size again coming into play with Jaster at the front line along with uh, number two, Laura Hershauer. Hershauer. Is that how you pronounce Hershauer. it? Hershauer. Hershauer, yeah. Excellent play by Jaster and Hershauer. Now that is one thing that the Kimmicks are going to have trouble overcoming. Dow has that distinct size advantage. We have seen them use it to their advantage here in the first game. That's going to be long, and Dow's going to have their biggest lead of the contest. 17-13 in favor of the Chargers. Yeah, Midland needs a timeout, and that's what they're getting right now. They... They want to keep Dow close. Yeah, Tim Zarell is going to talk things over. He's a veteran coach here at Midland High, so he calls the uh, first time out with Dow High having the lead here tonight. Glad you could be with us. Coverage of high school volleyball on MPS TV. A look at C.J. Blaha, the second-year coach at Dow High, talking uh, to his Chargers as well and of course there are so many great events here on mpf tv chris the uh, marching band showcase uh, you can catch the replay of the marching band showcase and of course volleyball and football, football. coming up this uh, this week here on yeah. mpf tv and then of course we head into the winter with basketball hockey a little wrestling on the docket <laughs> as well they call this spirit week right it is spirit week the halls are decorated and as we can tell a huge crowd watching uh, this contest out of the timeout chargers with a 17 to 13 lead nice uh, block jaster haley jaster the senior six well, one and in the right place that's the frustration for midland i mean they're outsized by dow and what do you do with the net trying to spike it over the net when you got a six foot six one six two girl in front of you and Gabrielle Wilson will continue to serve. Oh. They're going to say that uh, they're going to say the Kimmicks were in the net. So Chargers are going to continue their streak. Gabrielle Wilson has taken over serving for Dow High. She's rattled off four or five points in a row. Nice dig. Jaster again. Nice dig. Let's make sure we give credit to who got that one, number eight. That was Anna Dow. Schalk. Anna Schalk, oh, the junior, nice able play. to hit that uh, that dig that set up Jaster. So a nice defensive play by uh, the Dow High Chargers, and Tim Zarell is going to call another timeout as Dow High now hitting their stride. Chris, at the They're beginning, this was back and forth, but now Chargers kind of taking well, over. Jaster's got it rolling at the net, as you've seen. She's blocked a couple of shots. She's had a couple of nice tips, and Dow now is starting to get their rhythm. I mean, early going, you had the emotion of the crowd. Middle High was right in that emotion. Now you can see where the execution of how the play of the game is coming into play. And, and frankly, Jason, Dow's size has given Midland a lot of problems. Yeah, they the Charger size has given a lot of teams a lot of difficulty. Dow High is undefeated in Saginaw Valley League play with a 7-0 record. And uh, you can see why they have used that size 
tonight to their advantage. Well, they, they have aspirations. I mean, they, they think they can win a district, and they want to see how far they can go in the postseason tournament. Uh, odds on favor right now to win the Valley. It's going to take a heck of a team to beat them, that's for sure. they got a nice combination, nice blend of talent on their team this year. Kimmick's going to bring Emily Gaynow, a sophomore, into the game to play on the front row. Uh, Wilson has uh, been doing her job she serving sure for the Dow High Chargers. It's all about serve receive right now for Midland High. Get the ball in play. There, Midland uh, ends that streak. Finally, because the uh, Wilson was on a roll and the Dow High Chargers were uh, on a roll as well. So the Kimmicks will get the serve back, but they are down by seven, 21 to 14. Both teams making uh, substitutions. And Midland needs to rattle off a few points right here, Jason. They can't afford to exchange serves. Oh, great diving play. What a job. And then the uh, hit goes out. How about uh, Jenna Summers? Yeah. The, 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 lo the libero yeah. comes through with being a defensive specialist with an excellent dig on that. Yeah, she had Good job the, by Summers. She had for the bench with a great play. Oh, again, the size. Tannis, another block at the net. That combination, Jaster and Tannis, whichever one happens to be on that left hand, our, our left hand side have been a dynamite. Nice play by Schloop. Was it in? I think it was. So the Kimmicks will get the first back. Sanborn, that was a powerful spike there, Jason. Right on the line. And the Kimmicks will bring Sophie Donahue into the game. She is the best server that the Kimmicks have. Wow. Slam it down. That was Francesca Query. Query, part of the uh, the excellent Dow High athletic fa family, uh, Query. Her sister Josie was an excellent volleyball player and went on to play college at Lawrence Tech. Cheka is outstanding as well. Kyle keeps it alive, but Midland's got a free pass. Haas, another great play by Summers, digging that ball up. Great decision by Haas, great play by Summers. And a block on the line for the Chargers. Sloop keeps it in play. And a block up front by Kepner. No. That ball was called out. That was a spike by uh, Sanborn. That was a great volley. Midland well, ends up winning it. Pressure's on now. It's 24-16. All Dow needs is one point to win this first set. Oh, they're gonna, oh she called her in the net. Yeah, they're going to say that uh, Midland High's breakaway was in the net, which will give the Chargers the point, which will give them the first game as Dow High comes away 25 to 16, the victory for the uh, the Dow High Chargers. And Chris, that was a back and forth battle at the beginning of that game. Just up until we got you know, Dow High's run at about the 10 point mark. Yeah. It just went back and forth, back and forth, which is what Midland needs. But then Wilson serving and the Chargers hit their stride. Well, yeah, it's again, you know, it's, it's that whole size issue at the net, Dow dominating at the net. 
the, the frustrating part for Midland is where do you go, what do you do? Sanborn's starting to get some hits in here on the left side. But again, is Midland going to be forced to do more tipping to the open area, or are they going to still try to kill at the net against Dow's big front line? For the Dow High Chargers with a uh, one set victory over the Midland High Chemics, the team's having a little bit of time here uh, in between the uh, in between sets, and uh, that gives us a chance to uh, welcome Jeff Reckaway to the uh, broadcast booth. Jeff is the men's basketball coach at Northwood, but also a, a proud father watching some volleyball tonight. Boy, it's an exciting uh, venue tonight, isn't it? Uh, a lot of excitement in the crowd. Yeah, and, and let's talk about that a little bit from a coaching perspective and a playing perspective. When you are the players are playing in front of a huge crowd, a loud crowd, such as what we have tonight, how does that change, uh, you know, the atmosphere for the players? Well, it makes it a lot more fun. If you're any kind of competitor and you have this kind of atmosphere, it, it, it gets those juices flowing. And, and, you know, you have a rivalry game like this on, on paper, uh, you would think with the size and, and different things with Dow that they dominate uh, Midland High. And obviously uh, Midland did a pretty good job of, uh, uh, of coming out and, and competing from the start. Exactly. Let's talk about uh, about that a, a little bit from both sides because you've been on both sides. You've been you know, a heavy favorite coming into a game and sometimes you know, the, the advantage of disadvantages <laughs> to that and sometimes being the underdog coming into a game. Yeah, I mean, and Midland has nothing to lose. They're not expected to win, so they could tend to play a little bit freer. And then Dow, who's expected to win, can sometimes get a little tight and get rattled. But they, you saw them do a pretty good job of uh, rallying there after. Uh, we are talking with Jeff Reckaway, who is the uh, men's basketball coach at Northwood and also watching his daughter play for the Midland High Gimmicks here tonight. Uh, quickly, as uh, we get ready to resume, if you have your choice, Jeff, you want to be the favorite or you want to be the underdog, what do you enjoy the best? Oh, being the favorite, always. <laughs> <laughs> you got to win some games to be the favorite. <laughs> that, that, that is true. All right, Jeff Reckaway, we'll Thanks. let you get back to uh, being a proud dad and watching some volleyball. Thanks for having me. And we are ready to resume play here tonight with the uh, second set of the matchup here with the Middle um, High Gimmicks and the Dow High Chargers. Dow High winning the first set by a score of 25 to 16. So here we go the second time around. And as is customary in volleyball, Chris, the teams flip flop sides. That's right. And to start off things for Midland High will be Sophie Donahue here. That is their serving specialist. This is the six young ladies that uh, Tim Zarell wants on the volleyball court. But every now and then, those type of things happen yeah. even when uh, you are one of the best servers around. Right. We talked about that in the first set. Midland cannot afford to give up their serve like that on unforced error. Down 1-0 early in the second set. It is the best three out of five in varsity volleyball. Give uh, Alyssa Kepner. Kepner and Tannis and Jaster are just dominating at that line. I think uh, Schloop and Summers are putting on a clinic here on how to be a libero, huh? They've been doing a great <laughs> job. A lot of digs between those two ladies. Now, see, there it is. Midland's trying to figure out what to do at the net, if they can smash it or tip it, and that time Haas chose to tip it. Uh, the Dow High Chargers are going to continue to serve. C.J. Blaha has done a great job with this Charger program. He's got a lot of volleyball coaching experience at the AAU level, and now he brings that to the high school level, and a great idea there. Haley Tanis will just knock it over the net, dump it over nice and soft, and the Chargers with a 4 to nothing lead. Yeah, you mentioned Blaha. He's, he does have it going. His freshman team is outstanding. They beat Midland High tonight. JV team beat Midland High tonight. And uh, the varsity team right now has a one-set lead. And I think Tim Sorrell is going to have to call a timeout here or this game might get, aw get away from him. They have jumped out to a 5-0 advantage for the Dow High Chargers. And Laura Hershauer is continuing to serve. She's rattled off four points here in the second game. Yeah, you're not going to stop that. Francesca Query, she likes to be known as Cheka, 
And uh, well, check that because that was <laughs> that was down hard. I say checkmate, right? <laughs> that was that was teed up for her, and she just smashed it down to the floor. Great play by Summers. Ow. Haley Tanner gets the job done in the middle of that front row, and now Tim Farrell does indeed call that timeout because the Chargers have a 7 to nothing lead. Well, Dow's got it rolling. It is flicking right now. You can just see their confidence level is very high. They're playing very relaxed. All the emotion of starting the down middle thing is done now. Now their talent is taking over, and they are flexing their muscles. They, they, uh, are on the verge here of making this a blowout, so Midland's got to find an answer. What do you do when the other team's much bigger than the, than you at the net, though? I mean, yeah. you can't win the net on that. No, you can you can come up with the, uh, the the best game plan in the world, but you know you've got to have the player that can get the job done. And right now, Dow's got that five advantage that is going to be incredibly hard to overcome. But I'm sure Tim Zarell's got a couple of uh, tricks up his sleeve that he, he right. may be imposing, but. Again, C.J. Blaha, very soft-spoken as a coach, but he gets the result that he wants. He, he sure does. And, you know, going back to Tim, he, he had his 700th win this year. So he's, he's seen a lot of volleyball. He knows what it takes. But he mentioned to you in an er interview earlier is that, you know, he wants consistency from his team this year and in this match. And uh, right now, it's not happening, at least in the second set. Right there. And we're not seeing that consistency. We did early on. They played great early on. Great, absolutely great. It is eight to nothing. Hershauer has had seven of those eight points. And I believe that was in it was. Yes. Kimmick finally getting the uh, the serve back right on the line. Wreck away. Hard to tell, but again, it's the yellow lines that are very hard to hard to tell. Eric Albright says that uh, when the time comes that they redo the gym floor here at Midland High, which won't be anytime soon, <laughs> but when they do redo it, they're going to fix the uh, yellow volleyball lines. What a play. Excellent play. Check a query. Great decision. And she'll serve. That's so smart. I mean, that's just uh, sports intelligence, a high IQ right there to make a play like that by query. There's a good hard hit by Edie Hoff to try to give Midland a little bit of momentum. Hey, she's had a nice match so far. She has uh, been one of the better players so far tonight on the Kimmick team. Not only uh, hitting at the net like that, but also defensively as well. Sydney Schaefer will come in to serve. You know, we're seeing some great athletes on the uh, volleyball floor here tonight, Chris. The student yeah. section from both schools have really been impressive. Uh, yeah. It's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, you give us a great vibe to the gym. Electric atmosphere, really. First shower. <laughs> <laughs> What an excellent setter. Now, she's had a great night setting the ball tonight. Another assist for her. Wilson able to capitalize on that set for the Dow High Chargers, who won the first game 25 to 16 and are rolling 11 to 2 here in the second game. Watch number two for Dow at the net, Hershauer, how she sets the ball for her big hitters. Here we go. They're called sloop in the net, it looks like. Well, you got six foot one Jaster and six foot one Tannis, or six foot two at the net. You're trying to hit that ball over. Yeah, Tannis serving. So she's on that back uh, row giving uh, 
the combination of Kepner and Jaster, the chance to uh, work out front. He said Jaster went into the net as well. 12 to three is where we uh, stand score-wise in favor of the down high Chargers who are looking to remain undefeated in Saginaw Valley League play. Season winding down for these teams. Districts coming up in early November. Strong hit, and they're going to say that uh, over hit by Jaster. <laughs> Edie Haas, this is senior night for Midland High, and Edie Haas is a senior, and she's playing a whale of a match, that's for sure. A rare Two straight uh, points. Miss you there. So Kimmicks have got a couple of back to back points. Two straight points for the Kimmicks. And Haas will continue to serve. Oh. That is uh, the fourth Four. service error that we have seen from Midland. Fourth, just deflating. You get on a little roll like that, and then that happens. Chargers will have Anna Schalk serving. She serves from the left-hand side. Slam it down, Gabriel Wilson. Fourteen five. Midland needs to find an answer quickly. I don't know that there is an answer against Dow. <laughs> Jaster on the tip. They can. Uh, you can. You can just look at the confidence that Dow's playing with right now. Or they so, can. You know. They can kill you with the kill, or they can just softly dump it over. Well, you you got to honor her kill at the net because she blasts it so hard, and then all of a sudden she tips it like that. And there's an there, ace. Yeah. Anna Shock picking up the ace. She rattled off three points, and Tim Durrell is going to call a timeout with the Dow High Chargers on top 16 to five here in the second game of this best of five series between the Chargers and the Kimmicks. The coverage of this game being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, you can sign up for the MCTV producer workshop. You will learn how to be a producer, create a studio program, use our professional video cameras, and edit your video using Final Cut Pro editing software yeah, you can also learn how to do your own podcast or YouTube video. <laughs> the cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. For more information, call 837-3474. Visit the City of Midland website. You can also friend us on Facebook and uh, find out more information on how to become a MCTV volunteer. And uh, we've got some hardworking volunteers working uh, tonight. They do. They do a great job here. And Jason, how many years have you been volunteering for MCTV? It's got to be at least 20. Oh, more than that. Okay. 50? <laughs> uh, not quite. Oh, okay. Somewhere in between there. Somewhere, right. somewhere in between. Gotcha. I want to oh. say, Chris, that it was early 90s that I did my first uh, okay. MCTV broadcast. Well, what sport? I have no idea. <laughs> You've, how many sports have you done? Uh, Volleyball, of course. Football. Football. Softball, baseball, basketball, hockey. Swimming, gymnastics, back when <laughs> uh, that was still around. So, Hershauer again, smart. She didn't set it. She elected to tip it and got a point for Dow on that. There we are up on top. The hardest working cameraman in the city of Midland happens to be uh, just out of the corner of your of your screen. But uh, Tom is working the steady cam. He is he is working up a sweat. He's been all over the place. There he is. You talk about uh, running from one side of the gym to the other side of the gym. He and he he loves to do it. Using the uh, the steady cam here tonight. Of course, Mr. MCTV, Jim Malik, he's up top running camera for us as well. A lot of volunteers bringing you the action as the Dow High Chargers, Haley Jester, comes up again. We've seen her in, in versatile ways tonight. There's, there's Mr. Malik. <laughs> hey, Jim. 
versus the waste tonight, get points for the Chargers. And there is off her serve, right on cue. The Aces are rolling, as are the Chargers, as they have uh, built a 19-7 lead. Well, I, I think Tim Sorrell knew they had to play a perfect match tonight in order to beat the Chargers. Nice job by Dow keeping it alive. Uh, oh. Miscommunication. Can't afford that. Sometimes things go your way when things are going your way. And the tidal wave momentum is just <laughs> crashing through right now. 20 to 7, big lead for Dow. Jaster serving. That goes long, but I believe they're going to say that the Chargers were in the net, so that I will give the tip. Oh, they call it tip. Okay. Yep. Either way, the Kimmicks get a point. They do. 20 to 8. Dow five points away from clinching this set to take a 2 0 lead. But again, the pressure's on Midland. You just can't go exchange serves here. You've got to rattle off a bunch of serves in a row to get points. Nice job by Summers, and, and that's going to be in on the kill. Query Jenna, again there, I believe, wasn't it? But Jenna, Number six, yep, Jenna query. Summers continues to play well in that libero oh. position. <laughs> she digs it up off the floor. I mean, that's what you, you want. Someone who's got great reflexes, great instincts, aggressive, and she fits the bill. She's, she's playing extremely well tonight. What a serve. What a serve. I believe that was her shower. It is. A spot serve just beyond the front line. Open space hits the floor. The, the definition of an ace right there. <laughs> For sure. And it wasn't hit that hard. Oh. Going to be out for the Chargers will pick up the point, leading 23 to 8 here in the second game. Looking to go up uh, two games over the Midland High Kimmick. They're running their offense too far back. They're not even running offense right now, Midland. That makes it so hard. And Haley Tanev from the middle. Of the front row, Tanif able to hit it over with the kill. Chargers one point away from having a big advantage. And right now you can just see in Dow, they're moving very fluid. Great athleticism by the uh, six ladies on the floor for Dow. Again, that's giving Dow the point here. And it was in. Nice job there by Edie Haas. Haas. 24 to 9. Midland needs a run. Taylor Sanborn is one of the leaders on this Kimmick team. She will serve. Wow, nice get. Great dig by Lewis. But coming from the uh, left-hand side happens to be Query, and the Dow High Chargers will take game number two by a score of 25 to nine. The Dow High student section able to celebrate uh, having a two-set advantage here tonight over the Midland High Chemics. It's the best three out of five, Chris, so now the pressure is on Midland High. Squarely on Midland High, uh, but Dow right now has got things Steamrolling, I guess you might say. Uh, they played, or they beat Midland 25 to 15 in the first set, 25 9 here, so they're getting their rhythm going. And I mean, pick, pick a player. Summers is playing great, Query's playing great, Tannis, Jaster, Hersauer. I mean, they just got it rolling right now. Now the Fireflies are out for the, uh, the Dow High Chargers. 
And we're gonna ride the roller coaster. <laughs> They're having fun, but when you've got a volleyball team that is undefeated in the Saginaw Valley and a volleyball team that uh, comes in with a 23 and eight record, you can have a little bit of fun if, if you're the uh, student section. By the way, the districts will begin on November 4th and they will be here at Midland High. The Dow High Chargers will be matching up with Day City Western in the opening game, and the winner of that game will take on Midland High. Volleyball has yet to go to the uh, seeded district that we're seeing uh, some other sports go to in the MHSAA. Yeah, they, they still just do a draw, and however the draw works is how it works. I, I guess I'm, I'm still you know, not fully in on the seeding of things, but I, I can see both sides of the argument on that. I know in baseball, I mean, you look at baseball in our area with Midland and Heritage and Western and Dow. I mean, you've got basically four teams that could win a state championship and they're beating each other up in the districts. And definitely basketball will be seeded come winter. I believe soccer is seeded uh, in the postseason, which is already, right. uh, you know, a, a couple of rounds in into the soccer regional. So it's kind of interesting if you look at uh, Vic the Lion and the uh, Midland High Kimmicks uh, trying to get everybody uh, pumped up <laughs> as well. But it, definitely interesting. The MHSAA often making, uh, you know, some changes yeah. in, in various sports to, to try to even up the playing field as much as possible. Well, I'm sure the Coaches Association had a big say in that, right? Because they're tired of seeing Saginaw High and Arthur Hill play each other the first round of the districts. <laughs> And so I'm sure, you know, down Detroit, they have situations like that as well. You but are watching high school volleyball on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. Jason Harper, Chris Stevens, a lot of rabid fans that are watching uh, this volleyball matchup. Of course, MCTV staff Y, Kevin and Matt are holding down the fort. They do a uh, terrific job. And again, uh, we'll run by when we get a chance how you can become an MCTV volunteer. But if you uh, pick up the phone, call the studio, they will let you know everything. Or if you're at the uh, library sometime, stop on down the lower level. Check out the MCTV studio. They'll show you around. They'll tell you how you can become an MCTV volunteer. And even if, you know, if you don't want to be on camera, you can be behind the camera. If you want to be on the camera, you can do that as well. That's right. And if you love sports, you get a chance to shoot sports. You can come and uh, take over, Coach. <laughs> 30 years of doing this, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I could say you, you get it, you know, it, it's fun. The excitement of Midland Dow as, uh, well, there's a uh, service error, the first service error of the night for the Dow High Chargers. But, you know, the fun of a Midland Dow matchup, even oh. after all these years, and you've been around the, the city of Midland uh, longer than I have. It, yeah. It's fun. It's exciting. Oh, it's it's a blast. And every sport has their own little uh, enthusiasm, I guess you might say, with how, how things go. I mean, this coming Friday, you're going to see nine to 10,000 fans at Midland Stadium and watching football. And tonight, I've just been really impressed with this crowd. The student section's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. We're in the third game, Dow High winning the first two. It's the best of five, so the Chargers can feel the deal here tonight. <laughs> Sloop made a great dig there. Couldn't capitalize on it. Yeah, but give her credit for making a great dig. Well, and here's where frustration begins to set in if you're Midland High. I, yeah, I think that set in in the second set, to be honest with you. I mean, they need Dow to make some unforced errors, and that's just not happening. Whereas, conversely, yeah. Midland's making unforced errors, like Sam Borden just hitting it in the net right there. Well, all games of athletics have a little bit of the mental aspect, or a lot of the mental aspect, and that always creeps into play as, uh, you know, when you're on the, uh, the losing end or if you're trailing in a game, sometimes it's hard to stay mentally focused. For sure. See, what do, you, what do you do? What do you do there with Tannis? And Kepner. And Kepner at the right. net. That's a 7-Eleven uh, connection right there. 7-Eleven, uh, exactly. Haley Tannis wearing number seven, Alyssa Kepner wearing number 11. Getting high above the net, blocking those spikes by Sanborn. Chargers have a Desicaro yep. in for the first time, working that front line. 
Yeah, well mean, for the Chargers. Midland's doing all they can. Sometimes, well, usually talent wins out, and that's what you're seeing tonight. Dow's just got a lot of talent on the team this year. He needs a timeout. Midland needs a timeout. Settle it down this team. They're down 6-1. to one. Well, We've seen a couple of uh, miscommunications, and when you're playing a team that on paper is better, or when you're playing a flat-out better team, you can't make on four stairs. Zero. Zero. Zero mental errors, zero physical errors, really. Oh. That walked the line, that ball did. It did. Akaro had her chance to shine, and the net wasn't friendly to her. <laughs> Midland High will have Olivia DePiro serving. Kimmick's trailing in a must-win game for Midland High. Wow. Bad break there. Yeah, I believe that was the Wilson that had a nice dig, but then uh, couldn't do anything with it. Well, that was Haas. I think Haas made the dig, and it just ricocheted into her teammate. Into a teammate. You're right. It was Haas because I was looking at the wrong roster. <laughs> Here's a free ball for Dow. Let's see what they do with it. That was a throw, it looked like. Off with another dig. Setting it up to the. Oh. Well, the good teams take advantage of uh, mistakes, and that's what it, Dow High is doing tonight. Chargers with a 8 to 2 lead over Midland High of Tim Zarrell uses another timeout. If you're the Chargers and you're CJ Blaha, you're playing great volleyball, and you've been playing great volleyball, and your your strength of schedule. That's something that you know at yeah. all sports. You talk about the strength of schedule. Yep. Dow High plays an incredibly tough. Now Midland High plays a tough schedule as well, but Dow has really picked up that schedule. It has helped them immensely. Well, Blaha knows what type of team he has. He knows they have the potential to go deep, so that's why you schedule tournaments where you know some of the state-ranked teams are going to be there. And it's all about feeling good about yourself heading into the postseason, and that's what he wants to see. He wants to see his team finish strong in the Valley, finish strong in the uh, end of the regular season, and take that momentum going to the districts. And, you know, this is the first time I've seen them in person, and they're legit. I mean, they're really good. Size, athleticism, I mean, the total package. Yeah, I think we're going to be uh, hearing a lot about this at Dow High. And C.J. Blaha told us before we went on the air that this is the all-in year. They've got six seniors on the team, and although they have a good crop of players that are coming up from the JV team, this is a year that Dow High needs to make a run. Well, you got a player like Jaster, college player. You got Tannis. You got you got Query. I mean, you got all these players who are just com have competitive spirit about them you know they they don't want to lose they they're good and they play a competitive style of volleyball now the gimmicks are going to get a point there well you know talent is going to win out you like to see everybody playing hard until that final point is yeah. recorded so that if, if you're Tim Farrell and you're Midland High that is one thing you want to see well Tim, Tim won't tolerate anything less especially in this city rivalry match is that you play hard to the final hit is made <laughs> another service error which does not happen very often but that has bit the chemics here tonight well you think about I mean Tim's been here I don't know how many years 10 plus years for sure but I mean, he's had some great talent. I mean, Division One college players, Tory Jackson and the Juski girl went to Eastern Michigan. I mean, he's had some players who are probably the best players the city's ever seen, actually. <laughs> From the left-hand side, give credit to Adel Vaccaro getting the kill for the Chargers. Well, you mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, Thorell hitting the milestone on the uh, 700 on, wins. On, yep. on the win, you know. You don't get 700 wins in uh, high school volleyball. Doing. Exactly. <laughs> and having talent. Oh, that's what, that's, 
that is spoon giving, fed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is what it was. And Haley Jester takes full advantage of it. I think what Tim wants to see is his team serve, receive well, and run some type of offense. Capitalize. Oh, there's a I bad serve capitalize there. Capitalize on something like that. Yeah, exactly. But uh, be efficient about what you do. I, I, obviously, you're outsized at the net, but try to get some semblance of an offense going. On the other end, if you're C.J. Howard, this is exactly what uh, what you want. You, you know that you've got the talent, you know that you've got the athleticism, and you know you've got players that can make kills like that. Number 10, Jaster, again. I mean, to me, she's an All-State player. Uh, you know, we talked earlier in the broadcast about her knee injury, and I think for two years she's been battling that, if I'm not mistaken, and here it is her senior year. She gets a chance to play, and I'm so happy for her to be out here having success in and her senior season. She'll be a Timberwolf uh, next year. And that was out. Was out. The Dow High Chargers leading 14 to four in this third and what may be the deciding game as we begin rivalry week between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Out. Give Midland the point. MPS TV bringing you coverage of high school volleyball tonight. We'll also be bringing you coverage of high school football, the Kimmick and the Charger matchup. Both events will be airing around the same time, so you can catch back to back broadcasts of volleyball and football and uh, throw in there the band showcase as well as the Kemmicks pick up at eight. That's number 14, Sydney Schaefer serving, as you said, left-handed server. That was uh, Query getting the job done. The Chargers 10 points away from sealing the deal here tonight. Haley Jaster serving. Schlup does a nice job with the dig. Was it in? I believe it was. I think he overruled a out call or an in call. Now they're going to no, give he... the gimmicks the point. It was yep. in. Okay. I thought it was. Yep. And Edie Haas will serve for Midland High. Nice serve. There's excellent an serve. Low and hard. Excellent job by Haas. Haas, one of uh, four seniors. Check that, one of three seniors on this Midland High team. Was it in? It was. Yes. Who got that tip? Did you see that? I Is that maybe, number seven? Mm, Is that Tannis? I thought maybe her shower. Okay. 16 to 8 in favor of Dow. Her shower's going to serve. Carpenter? No, 13. Who's 13, Jason? 13 is Emily Gaynow, the sophomore that comes up with the uh, the big play for Midland. I think Tim Farrell wanted a double hit earlier in that volley, did not get the call, but Gaynow makes it happen anyway for Midland High. Nice block. Nice block. Nice job there for Midland High. Olivia DePiro and Emily Gaynow teaming up. Sophomore. 
Sometimes you need the uh, the players to step up, and a couple of them trying for Midland High. They've pulled within six. Well, strong hit Hard by to stop uh, that. Yeah, Haley Tanis. Out. Yeah. Good attempt by uh, Gay now, but it goes out. If you're just tuning in, Dow took the first game 25 16, second one 25 to 9. They've got the lead here in game number three. That one is out as well. Back to back attempt falling on the wrong side of the yellow line if you're the Midland High Chemics and the Chargers look to take advantage. Well, how many times have they uh, blocked or partially blocked Sanborn at the net? Uh, trying to get that kill from the back line with Query and was unable to do so. Well, it's now or never time for the Chemics trailing 19 to 11 here in the third set. They put uh, Emma Reckaway back into the game. She's in the uh, front row for a Midland after the Kimmick serve. The good kill yes. from the middle has been what has gotten the job done for the Dow High Chargers tonight. Well, I'd, I'd say Tannis is <laughs> get the job done for Dow High tonight. She's played a great match tonight. Oh, that looked out. I think they called that in. He did. He called it in. Well, not much, uh, not much argument from uh, C.J. Blaha, but who was six feet from it. So, we'll we'll give the line judge the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. Chargers, Chargers will get the serve back. I believe the line judges are just volunteers, and yeah, both as and, we and, are. And Chris, <laughs> both you and I are well aware of uh, you know decisions can uh, look different depending on your angle, as we well know. Absolutely, as MHSA officials, a uh, one of the few mistakes Dow's made tonight. They, they do not make very many. If you're Midland, just be competitive to the very end. Try to be as efficient as possible here. Nice serve by Sanborn. I tell you what, this, uh, this Charger team is fun to watch, and they are three points away from coming up with a uh, clean sweep over the Midland High Chemics, but uh, Tim, uh, Tim Varel is going to call a uh, call a timeout. This Dow High Charger team, they're they're the real deal and they're fun real to watch. Deal. They are, they're fun to watch and uh, we shall see. I, I I guess I'm not sure who they close the season out against the regular season wise in in the in the valley, but uh, once that district hits, as you mentioned earlier, they face Bay City Western which over the years has had an excellent program. I don't think they're at the level they've been in, in recent years. There's a look at the Dow High Chargers, and Blaha's just so calm in, in that huddle. 
If you want to see all the new ways that you can share your story through MCTV, how about this? You can create a TV show. Hey. You can put videos on YouTube. You can promote your programs on social media or even create an audio podcast. All different ways to reach a whole new audience. To learn more, call MCTV at 837-3474. And you can find our YouTube channel and podcast by searching the MCTV Network Community Voices, wherever you happen to listen to your uh, podcasts from. I've yet to do a podcast, Griff, but I've been tempted. Have you listened to one? Well, I listen to a lot of them. Jaster spike went long. 22 to 14 in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Free pass goes out for the Dow High Chargers now within two to celebrate victory, and Haley Jester is going to be serving. Just so you want to close out the match, she's played all around. Great match. Uh, Dow's going to have to wait a little bit. Midland says we're not done yet. No, nope. that was Carpenter on the kill. Carpenter is one of the few three sport athletes these days. You normally used to hear that back in the day a lot, but not. Not so much recently. She also plays basketball and runs track and field. I miss those days. I, I miss the multi-sport athlete. For sure. Takes up a lot of time. <laughs> Midland High was, uh, was going to get a point of the Chargers. Actually, I didn't see what happened. In the net, Her shower in the net. Yep, number two, her shower in the net, he called. I know there's a lot of debate, Chris, about, uh, you know, playing the same sport year long, which a lot of athletes do, or playing multiple sports. So yeah. you, can, you, can, uh, you can debate that for a while. Will the Chargers keep this oh, one alive? Summers. What a, what a job by Jenna Summers. And that's going to be out. <laughs> by the way, and Unfortunately, we don't have replay tonight. Not only would I like to see that by Jenna Summers again, yeah. but Beth Whalen had amazing moves <laughs> back on back on the line of the uh, crowd manager for Dow High. She she can still move. Yes, yeah, she sure. She, she got out of the way. Championship point here. She's. And there it's it over. is. Send it down, Haley Tanner. How fitting that Tanis be the one that gets the final kill and the Dow High Chargers winning tonight, 25 to 16, a three set sweep for the Chargers. I'll tell you what, you're right. It was only fitting that Tanis did get that last kill. She's great, man. I love watching her play. <laughs> she is dominant, man. And uh, she showed it there in that last play. That was a kill that Touched no one. That blasted to the floor. But uh, we, yeah, we mentioned a little bit ago as the Dow High student section celebrates with the uh, Dow High volleyball players on the upper left-hand side of your screen. But uh, uh -huh. yeah, we mentioned earlier this Dow High Charger team. Not only are they talented, but they're fun to watch. They're, they're fun to watch. And as an example, that play by Hershiser or Hershower, almost going. Oh no, Summers going almost out of the gym. To where they sell the popcorn to retrieve a ball just they play with so much enthusiasm that great competitive spirit and uh, athleticism um, yeah you're right just a lot of fun to watch now well, there's a good chance for these same two teams will meet in the postseason that they will meet in the districts the districts will be here at midland high beginning november 4th you can head on to uh, mhsaa.com and click on the volleyball link to find out all the details of the district the chargers there they are the students are going to celebrate the win here tonight listen to them ha. 
victory is sweet. It's extra sweet when it comes against your crosstown rival. Absolutely. No matter what sport it is. Yeah, and Haley Tan is right there at the center of your screen, showcasing uh, and celebrating. What a great shot. What a great job by our MCTV uh, camera crew getting right in the middle of the Dow High student section here tonight. That is going to wrap things up. Again, districts coming up November 4th. We invite you to check out the marching band showcase currently playing on MPF TV. And, of course, volleyball and football airing this weekend. Be sure to check the Midland Daily News for replay times of uh, this and other events. Again, we want to thank our entire volunteer crew. In just a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of these individuals, take the time, take the opportunity, and say thank you for volunteering. Thank you for bringing high school sports to us here on MPF TV. The hardest working man in <laughs> MCTV camera happens to be Tom, who is uh, getting us right now, Chris. He's got good <laughs> speed. He got up here in uh, no, get 10 it. He seconds. Has, he has worked up a sweat <laughs> Tonight. Chris, your final thoughts. Well, again, I mean, we've said it earlier, is that Dow's impressive. They've got the total package. Uh, Tannis was outstanding. Jaster, Summers, Quarry. I mean, they just, they got a really nice team. They're deep. They're athletic. And I look forward to making, uh, seeing them make a deep run in the postseason. They definitely have potential to go far. So congratulations to the Dow High Chargers here tonight as they come away with a clean sweep, winning 25 to 16, 25 to 9, and 25 to 16. For the Chargers, will pick up and celebrate here on the volleyball court. For our entire MCTV crew and for Chris Stevens, my name is Jason Harper. Thank you for watching High School Volleyball on MPS TV.